Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here on the floor of DevOps UK talking to members of the Java community. I have the honor of talking to Garrett Grunwald. Hello, Garrett. Hi. Hi, Tori. Garrett is a senior software engineer. He's a Java champion. He's also a jug leader. He's very active in the community, and he's an expert on Java effects, correct? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. Okay, <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you some questions about right. Java effects, and I'm going to hopefully give you an easy one. This came okay. up in Twitter about a week or so ago. Somebody said, why should I use Java effects? What can I do in it that I can't do in Swing? Well, to be honest, I did a lot of Swing, and first of all, I can say you can do all that stuff that you can do in JavaFX, you can do in Swing. It depends on the amount of time you would like to spend. So if you have 10 years of time, <laughs> do it in Swing. <laughs> if you just have a couple of months, do it in JavaFX. It's just uh, more easy. You can do um, many more up-to-date things. You can use animations, transitions, effects, and all that stuff easily in JavaFX that was not very easy to do in Swing. And if you take a look at today's applications, like the mobile ones, you see all that effects and transitions. Even if you don't be aware that they are there, if you take a close look, you see everything is using effects, animations, uh, and that stuff. And uh, so if you would like to have a software that looks up to date, you should really use JavaFX, if you're on a Java platform, of course. And if I'm a Swing user now, the transition to JavaFX, is it hard? It depends on the project. So we did that at Canoe for uh, the last year. It was a big project. And uh, lucky for us was that the, the customer really separated the logic from the UI in Swing, which makes it very easy to, to port the stuff over to JavaFX because you just have to write a new UI layer in JavaFX. But I also know uh, from a lot of former Swing projects that Developers tend to be to, to combine logic and UI in Swing, which makes it, to be honest, it makes it hard to convert to JavaFX because then you have to strip out all the logic and create a new UI. And so, it but it's possible. So and and the the, the migration is it's not that hard. But it, if it, like I said, if it's mixed logic and UI, then it takes longer. If it's separated you are good to go. So it can get a little gnarly, as they yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So tell me, you're on the JavaFX Extras project. You created right. that. Is, tell me about that. Well, the, the JavaFX Extras project was, uh, it, it was not invented by me. I think it was invented by Stephen Chin and other guys in the past. It was at uh, JavaFX 1.x times. And when they m Oracle moved to JavaFX 2, they, they asked me if I would like to port my Swing stuff to JavaFX, and I, I started porting it to the JF Extras project. Um, in the meantime, I stopped committing in that project because I figured out after a year that all the stuff that I did, uh, porting my Swing stuff to JavaFX, was not really the right way to go. So it was I learned how to do it better, and. And so I stopped moving it to the next uh, uh, version because uh, first we started with uh, version 2 for JavaFX 2 and then they moved to JavaFX 8 and I didn't port my stuff to JavaFX 8. Instead, I created my own project where I can play around with things because I like to play around with different opportunities and check if that works. And, and I found it was not a good idea to put all my my try and error thing <coughs> into into JF Extra. So that's the reason why I separated it from that. And, and now people, which is interesting, take stuff from my Extra project and ported it back to JF Extra. So uh, Tom Eugene Link, for example, he, he saw my radio menu and then he thought, okay, that might be a good thing in JF Extras, but then in a clean way so that you can reuse oh, it nice. everywhere. Yeah. Because I create that stuff for demos. So I, Sometimes I don't care if it's really good. It, it has to work, right? And they right. make sure that it, it's really good and it looks good. And so this is, uh, that's the way I'm involved in, in JF Extras. At the moment, not that much, but I really, uh, I really like the project. It's, it's a good, good chance for developers to uh, get their JavaFX related things out in the wild, right? And let the community play around with it. So it sounds like the <coughs> JavaFX community is pretty active. Yeah, it's it's it might not be that big, right? So it's it's growing, mm -hmm. and it's of course there's a hardcore of developers. Uh, it's uh, yeah, no, yeah, not yeah, only yeah. me. <laughs> it's a lot of people involved. <laughs> but uh, I think the problem is that Java on the desktop in general, it, it's dead for years. People say, I know there is a market for Java even on the desktop because uh, at Canoe we, we work with that customers, and I know there are many customers that have uh, existing Swing applications and move to JavaFX. 
um, it, it's not that hyped anymore, right? So that, that makes it hard for people to, to get in touch because they don't know, is there a community, so where to look for, so, so we just have to tr continue spreading the word that it's still active and then it's, there is a, a use case for JavaFX on desktop. So there's an active community on java.net, right? Yes, we'll it is. It provide is definitely, the URL, definitely, definitely, definitely yes. so you can get connected. And so it sounds like there's a bunch of widgets being created. Yes, yes. yeah. Um, also from, from Oracle itself, from Jonathan Giles, for example, he's uh, because he's working for Oracle in the controls teams, it's for him hard to to commit to, to projects like JF Extra. So he, he spinned off its own open source project uh, called uh, Controls FX. And he makes sure that it has the same quality as the, the Java standard, JavaFX standard API uh, widgets, which, which makes it a really, really useful uh, library for, pro for, for projects that are related to JavaFX. And they have nice, really nice widgets in there. So it's, it's a, that's a really good project, I, I can uh, just say. If you don't know it, take a look at ControlsFX. Really nice. Excellent. So thank you for coming by and talking about Java. Well, effects. thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, it's it always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you at Java One and Definitely. we'll figure out what color our hair will be, right? Yeah, yeah. it will be Java like, yeah, right? Yeah, so we'll orange, blue, blue, Great. orange, whatever. <laughs> Great. This okay. is Tori Wheel from the Oracle Technology Network.